But in this case, we know it's not a rewards member. So I'll go ahead and also fill out this email address. This will be important that you start gathering uh, email addresses here. because This is what the software uses to enroll people. So I'll go ahead and punch this in. And we'll go ahead and click take order. And this will take us to the actual enrollment screen. And this will only show up for people who are not in the program. So once someone is enrolled, this will no longer uh, display for that particular customer. And in the upper right, we'll have a couple options if the customer doesn't want to be in the program right away. You could either skip, wait 30 days. This 30 days could be configured, but by default it's 30 days. And then we also have a don't ask this customer again. Usually, though, we just click the submit member button right here. And if for any reason you didn't put the email address in that previous screen, we could go ahead and fill it out here as well. So I'll go ahead and click submit new member. It'll say enrolling. And there we are. This customer is now a part of the rewards program. So as far as actually enrolling somebody, it's pretty much that you go in, you grab their email address and you click enroll.